Hi, my name is Guy and I work at the Elk Grove Green Acres Nursery and I'm here to talk to you today about why you would want an evergreen plant in a container. Several reasons, uh, you know, if you've got a mostly shady landscape and need something for full sun, one advantage of the container plant is that they are portable. You can always move it to sun or shade uh, if it needs either one of those. Um, if your plant needs more or less water than the plants you have in the landscape already, uh, you can put a plant in evergreen plant in a container and water it as it needs without worrying about adjusting your whole irrigation system. Uh, if a plant needs more protection from say cold in the winter or heat in the summer, Again, an evergreen plant in a container can be a great choice because you can adjust the, the conditions as needed. Another advantage of an evergreen plant in a container is it looks good year round. You don't have to worry about seasonal leaf drop and it looks great in all seasons. So if you want to get something on your patio, give a little, you know, if you like that sweet scent of a gardenia. Gardenia, like this Climes Hardy, is a great plant. Gives you uh, very fragrant blooms May through October. It's evergreen. Um, gets about two feet high, two feet wide, so not too big. Uh, another reason you may want uh, a plant in a container, if you've got a very green landscape and want to give a pop of color somewhere, an azalea, a multi-season bloomer like this Autumn Embers, uh, gives you a great pop of color uh, through multiple seasons. Uh, if you want something other than flower color, just want something with a, a different color, different shape to it, if you want to get something other than a, a round shrub, this uh, Charlie Boy Cordeline is a great choice. Uh, they do very well in containers. Uh, evergreen, uh, very easy, low maintenance on these. If you have a mostly uh, a landscape that uses a lot of water and want to get something drier in there like an agave. The blue agave, blue glow agave here makes a great choice. It doesn't need a whole lot of water so if you're uh, not a consistent waterer this could be a great choice for those who want a low maintenance plant that doesn't need a whole lot of water. Another great choice for evergreens if you want something edible in your landscape but don't have a whole lot of room or you have mostly shade and you need uh, more sun. Putting a citrus in a container like this dwarf eureka, semi dwarf eureka lemon is a great choice. Uh, if you've got a mostly shady yard, you can all, one advantage of having a plant in a container, an evergreen plant in a container, is you can always move it to the sunniest spot in your yard. That way it can get the sun it needs and uh, you can water it whenever it needs it. Um, they make a great a container plant. They don't get as big as they would in the ground. One advantage of growing a citrus in a container is that they don't get quite as big, but they are still very productive. Um, if you want something evergreen, a low maintenance evergreen, uh, but you don't want flowers or don't want a whole lot of leaves dropping, a pom-pom juniper like this one here could be a great choice for you. Also low maintenance, although you do have to give it a haircut once in a while, just to keep it looking sharp. Uh, another great choice for if you want to have a shadier spot and want something evergreen, this little uh, little dragon cryptomeria here, they get about two to three feet high and wide, very low maintenance, you never have to prune it, looks good all year, can handle heat and cold no problem, uh, great choice. As far as soil in a container, um, I like to use a blend. I use about two-thirds of potting soil, one-third cactus mix. You want to make sure you get good drainage. That's another advantage of planting in a container, planting an evergreen in a container, is that you get, you're get you pretty much ensuring good drainage for your plants, especially things like citrus or needle leaf evergreens. Um, they need better drainage. That's a great advantage. So in conclusion, there's a lot of different choices you can have for an evergreen plant in a container. If you have more questions or just want to check out what we've got, come on in and we'll help you out.